A live streamer named Lothar is in the middle of playing Hearthstone when he suddenly starts acting out of sorts. If you pay close attention to his face, you can see that he is clearly feeling some discomfort. He takes his headset off and tries to regain control over himself, but to no avail. and his wife finds him there. She tries to get him to come to his senses. Here is a brief excerpt of the call. I don't speak the language, but common sense gives me some idea of what she is saying. Still, any translations are appreciated. In case anyone is wondering, Lothar spent about a week recovering, but this has not happened since. A Russian YouTuber plays Russian roulette with poltergeists in this paranormal footage. Published to YouTube by Dark Ghost in March of 2021, this poltergeist activity was captured by cameras installed in the haunted home, as well as cameras operated by the ghost hunter who was brave enough to enter. The first instance of paranormal activity comes when a camera that he installed in one room captures a cupboard being moved on its own. It scrapes across the floor and comes to a halt in the middle of the room. And after hearing the noise, the ghost hunter enters to see for himself. The room appears empty, but he soon realizes it's not. An entire wardrobe nearly falls directly on him. <laughs> There is no space behind the wardrobe for someone to have stood and pushed it over. So what caused this heavy furniture to fall? In a state of shock, having barely escaped with his life, the ghost hunter sets up his spirit box to talk with the spirit. It asks him clear as day who he is and why he's here. The spirit tells him that it is dangerous. When he asks what is, she says his occupation. The spirit tells him that the souls of the passed away have heard him. She also notes that they're not all good ones. After a while, she refuses to answer any more questions. When the ghost hunter returns to the room where the cupboard moved and the wardrobe nearly took his life, everything has returned to its place. As he settles in for the night, somehow catching some shut-eye while stretched out on wooden chairs, a spot of light bursts above him, and he springs to his feet. He said that at that point he felt a bitter cold. Once you've nearly had your life taken and feel the temperature drop, it's probably time to pack it in and call it a night. This 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck Japan years ago. Earthquakes are common in this part of the world, but what happens next is not. In the distance among the swaying buildings, a bright glow in the night sky, possibly what scientists call an earthquake light. A bright light burns intensely over the city for nearly 10 full seconds before extinguishing as suddenly as it came. The light appears to have caused no damage and was accompanied by no sound. It does not look like it was caused by a blown out transformer or any other kind of equipment. Scientists have documented this type of phenomenon before, known only as earthquake lights, but they don't know what causes them. They occur in less than 1% of earthquakes and have been reported for hundreds of years. A handful of theories exist, but a real explanation has never been proven. All we know for sure is that it creates an eerie light show that witnesses will never forget. A family in the Philippines is holding a ceremony for their child when something amazing happens. Their baby begins to move. The parents pluck their child and wrap it in blankets. Just yesterday, medical examiners had told them that their child had passed from a severe fever. Now clearly still alive, though the parents are relieved, terror soon set in as they realized how close they came 
to burying their baby alive. There's a little ghost girl in my hallway, says a YouTuber named Kylie Fisher, and I agree. You can probably see it too if you know to look here. If you stare into the darkness long enough, you'll see it. The barely noticeable outline of a figure with its arms down, neck bent, staring ahead. It can't be Kyleo because he is holding a camera, and this ghost girl in the hallway has her hands at her sides. Tell me if you can see the creepy figure. And if you still don't see it, don't worry, I've got you covered. And in my opinion, you can definitely see the pale outline of a ghost girl much better now. That's just beyond creepy. While hiking in the woods of Slovakia, this hiker didn't realize he was being stalked until it was nearly too late. Published by Lion Plays Mobile in January of 2022, this hiker is capturing video in the woods as forest noises sound all around him. After a moment, you can see something large in the trees, rattling them aggressively. The unknown creature roars, and the hiker drops his camera downward and starts running. What is haunting the forests of Slovakia? Is it a bear or something out of a horror story? A YouTuber named Musafir Vlogs is biking through India late at night when something causes his bike to stop working. They later claim during this part to have felt a spirit close by, and upon starting their bike heard a voice. I'm not sure if I hear it or not, but since this video has a lot of likes and so many people who claim to hear it, maybe I'm just not listening correctly. I think I might hear a gulping noise at 7 minutes and 18 seconds. <laughs> Almost like someone taking their final breaths underwater. Tell me what you hear. If you ever find yourself in the middle of nowhere at night, beware who or what else might be out there with you. Published in January of 2020, Junked Up Kitten asserts that a ritual had occurred in his yard of 20 acres in the Pikes Peak Wilderness area of Colorado. In the video, the man says he just got home and his wife left almost immediately for her night shift. He was playing some games on his computer when his dog started freaking out. That's when he started to hear a weird whistling coming from outside, so he dons his boots and other winter gear before heading out to investigate the matter with his dog in the remote darkness, already courageous in my opinion. He walks out into the snow under a full moon, checks on his hens in their hen house, and also walks through his storage sheds. That's when he hears his dog barking like crazy. Well, you got something? He sets out in search of his dog to see what's got him all riled up and comes across a strange sight. Chicken feet and a bone hanging from a tree by some orange twine. Off in the distance, he spots fire in the darkness, which he says looks like candlelight. Needless to say, this all freaks him out. He decides to investigate and starts walking towards the distant fire. Soon he comes across the ritualistic setting. Tarot cards are all laid out on the ground, surrounded by five votive candles, an unlit lantern, and a purple cloth bag. It seems that Ziggy, the dog, scared off whoever was out there. They left the place in a hurry, abandoning the ritual ceremony, tarot cards and all. So many questions remain. Who were these people? Why were they on the man's property in the first place? And what were they doing? Most importantly, what do the tarot cards read? Hopefully this man's property isn't now cursed. Dennis from Dark Life captures what can only be a demon in this abandoned house. After his lantern mysteriously shuts off, Dennis scrambles in the darkness. Finally, he gets it turned back on.
He thinks the poltergeist is campaigning against him, so what next? The demon is in the adjacent room. He leaves for a moment and when he returns, everything is on. Is the demon playing tricks on him? Or is he standing there watching him? I can feel the demon's presence in this one, and I can't get that sound out of my head. A paranormal channel called Love to Investigate has one of the creepiest ghost videos ever. A sighting that looks real and must have been terrifying for them to have caught on camera. I don't like looking behind shower curtains, that just creeps me right out. The bathroom again. The That's pretty cool, Alice. They are exploring a haunted mental asylum when the spirit of a former patient glares at them from the hallway. When they look up, it's leaving as she makes a comment about the smell. That's pretty cool, Alice. It smells like an hospital in this part, definitely. The apparition has long black braids and wears a long dress that women had to wear at the mental asylum long ago. The paranormal investigator later comments that they had no idea they were being watched by the supernatural at the time. Had they known, they would have ran away in the opposite direction. What do you make of the creature in this creepy video? Published in June of 2017, a car is driving through a desert when it slows to a stop. Some animals appear in the area near a fence. From far off, they look like they could be anything. Cows, dogs, the video is unclear. But as the camera zooms in and the car backs up and then turns around to get an unobstructed view, we see that at least one of the creatures looks like something from a horror movie. It almost looks like a humanoid doing a bear crawl, but I can't imagine a human being able to pull that off for as long as this creature does. The way it moves is not characteristic of any animal. It's unnatural. The creature continues on, trotting alongside the other animals. Is this human, humanoid, animal, or some other unknown? It definitely is something I've never Never seen before. If something knocks on a door in an abandoned home, don't answer. Published by Indra Saputra Official in March of 2022, this ghost hunter is faced with something that wants in. When he opens the door, Indra finds an empty bathroom. After turning back to the rest of the room, he sees a shadow peeking up over a wall. It slowly pulls down out of sight. <laughs> When Indra rounds the corner to look, nothing is there. Did the figure manage to creep out soundlessly? Or is Indra facing off with nothing but a shadow? Every child has an imaginary friend, but this one is not so imaginary. Posted to TikTok by Elkakoi.tv, a father enters his daughter's room around 7 p.m. as she laughs uncontrollably with someone. As the father rounds the corner, he says his daughter's name. Then he spots this figure peering out from behind her. He rushes over to find no one there, and his daughter looks as though she's in a trance that he can't shake her out of. What is going on here? While many in the comments admit this is too creepy, commenter X Gamer. Mama X sums up my feelings. She writes, Well, I won't be sleeping today. Hey, me. Hey, me. 
for the love of all that is holy, look out behind you. Posted to TikTok by Haunting Facts, this TikToker is dancing in a parking garage and doesn't seem to realize that something is watching. And not only watching, it's coming closer. Watch closely as the TikToker performs her choreography. After moving to the right, a figure is seen creeping up behind her. He is so close that he could reach out and touch her. The figure looks like a man with his back facing the girl. Unaware, she jumps to the left, and the figure is again blocked from view. This man went unseen earlier in the clip. You don't see him approach, even though the girl starts dancing further back from the camera. Where did this guy come from? Did he just materialize out of thin air? And what does he want? Some TikTokers say he's obviously Batman, while others are having trouble seeing the figure at all. But Sydney's having no trouble. She writes, Bro, I saw it and it actually gave me a little heart attack. Sounds like Sydney might need a break from the scary videos. A popular YouTuber named Max Mirai is making a normal vlog when it becomes an accidental ghost hunting video instead. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Caught on camera in the corner watching them all is the sighting of a ghost in a dress. When they see what they've caught on tape, they rush back to the same place for a second look. What they find has left their minds as haunted as the place itself. As they flee, one of the spirits has no problem keeping up, but it disappears before it reaches them, only to reappear again when they least expect. There's almost no way that this Japanese ghost hunting video really happened, because it would have made international news. Or maybe this ghost video is just now starting to gain attention online. A YouTube channel called Sailing Latitude is boating around the Italian island of Sardinia when a freak lightning storm breaks overnight, forcing them into survival mode. They try to outrun the storm at first, but the winds are much too strong and soon lightning is breaking directly overhead. Aside from getting zapped, a single bolt would be enough to fry their navigation equipment and leave them completely stranded at sea. The experienced navigator is able to visually estimate two areas where lightning is striking the most, and they sail between these two areas skillfully. In other words, they basically have no choice but to steer between two storms, and in doing so they almost get trapped in the storm multiple times, like here at 10 minutes and 15 seconds for example. To make matters worse, the winds could change at moment's notice and bring the storm clouds even closer. Somehow they just barely managed to sail through the little pocket of clear weather, well flanked between two storms. Hours later, a calm sunrise greets them, as if it was all just a bad dream. Theme parks are supposed to be fun and games, not the thing nightmares are made of. This Mr. Blobby theme park is a whole other story. Chugging along in the 90s, you may or may not recall this yellow and pink blob. Crinkly Bottom was Noel Edmonds' series of theme parks that popped up in England during the show's success, with one in Somerset, another in the north of England, and others scattered around the country, none of which lasted long. Why? Well, watch this video and you'll see. Not only were people unimpressed with the park's puppet shows, and Blobby's kitschy catchphrases. Blobby's done blob in home is like walking through an uncanny nightmare. The seriously disturbing park, marketed as a children's attraction, is more like a scene from a horror film. With distorted audio, Blobby welcomes you, but who wants to be welcomed to this chilling park? The theme of this park must have been, we will haunt your dreams. Footage from this frightening theme park will leave you reeling, and not in a good way. A YouTuber named Crossover likes to play basketball, but we all know that's not why he's on this list. 
He lives in a house on the edge of some woods that are known to be haunted. At least if you believe what's about to happen to him next. Crossover goes inside of his dad's workshop to talk more about his plans for the channel. You know, I have had channels in the past, but you know, I kind of scrapped them. They were a little bit weird, and I don't even know what. Got and behind him. One of his dad's tools rolls off the shelf. Crossover wonders how the object moves all by itself. And a scary voice tells Crossover to come back as soon as he goes off camera. He thinks this is a ghost EVP because he says he was in the workshop alone. However, the voice could have been edited and someone could have been hiding under the shelf to make the object look like it was pushed by a ghost. A redditor named Danny3LG are making a funny video when they accidentally capture a morose visitor in the process. <laughs> Something taller than the entertainment center looks out and ducks from view. In the split second, I see the top of its head, along with a pale brow and two solid black eyes. If not a ghost, what else could this be? When a YouTuber named Lil Goofy is exploring some trails with his friend, they decide to take a rest. That's when someone decides it's time to make them run. Somebody who's probably been following them for a while. The sun is settling, but there's still enough light to catch a potential lurker video on their helmet cam. At 1 minute and 8 seconds, they think the strange man waves hello, but he might be waving around something sharp instead. They debate what to do next, and then he makes the decision for them when he runs straight at them. They lose him fast and crouch down in the weeds to let the lunatic run past, and then they go back to their car. What's weird about this video, assuming that it's real, is that he's dressed like a normal person. You wouldn't think twice about passing the stranger on a trail until they are already following you. It's probably one of their friends, but we'll never know for sure, and that's what makes it creepy. Years ago, I analyzed a video of a giant humanoid creature seen roaming the desert in Portugal. Well, new evidence of the creature is making fresh rounds on the internet, and this photograph supposedly shows what it eats, which unfortunately is us. A strong looking man with a crew cut and fatigues is no match against this creature as it pulls him towards its open maw. He is not wearing civilian clothing. If anything, his outfit matches those worn at the special ops base where the original video was taken. All of the finer details of the creature seem to match as well. The dramatic bend of the back leg compared to the more developed upper arms, its cone-like head, its unnatural slouch are all there, and according to this picture, it's apparently a cyclops creature as well. Of course, there's a good chance that this is photoshopped. If it was real, I think that there would be an accompanying video, or at least more than one picture. If anything, for the sake of the person about to be devoured, I really hope this isn't real. According to Marisol Cole, this house was built in 1890 and abandoned for decades. She and her friend get a bad feeling as they head up the steps and feel an immense energy weighing them down. As they cross into the kitchen, they find this cold, unsmiling photograph that makes them gasp out loud. <laughs> wow. The woman's expression looks pained and worried, as this man is across from her with a slight look of concern as well. Maybe it was just the style at the time to look serious during a photograph, or maybe something unspeakable happened here to make them look that way. When Marisol leaves, they are surprised to find the door instantly locked behind them, when there should have been no possible way, and when Marisol glances across the street for one last look, she captures this small, sullen face staring back at her in the window. A face which, even from a distance, passingly resembles the photograph of the man they found earlier. So did they move his picture to the window to fake this part? Or do you think it's possible they really saw him? I'm going with the latter. A doorbell cam video at 3am has caught some scary moments on tape that people need to see. Watch this and tell me if you think it's real or fake. A 
A ghostly white apparition forms before the camera half a minute before 3 a.m. It looks pretty good at first, but then it kind of looks less real the longer you look at it. If I saw this phantom-like figure outside of my house at 3 a.m. like the uploader says they did, I would be absolutely terrified. This YouTube channel is just a random string of letters and numbers that may or may not spell out some sort of hidden message. There's one video that's especially strange. Someone is furiously pedaling around a neighbor while panting. Apparently lost and possibly being pursued. The next video is of someone watching two other people from afar and from behind some shrubbery. I'm not sure if this video is real or not, because they would obviously be able to see this person from this angle in my opinion, but maybe they were just ignoring him or truly didn't notice. If the person filming here is the same person that was on the bike, then I think they may have serious problems. After not posting for over 7 years, the channel started uploading content again a month ago. Maybe now there will be more clues revealing the mystery behind these videos. Final video is about as close as it gets. First a piece of manufacturing equipment malfunctions and causes a pile up of white hot steel material. The pressure around the blockage continues to build until coils of unformatted steel shoot across the factory floor. The first worker sees the carnage and runs in a zigzag pattern to escape. The second worker, a supervisor from the looks of his clean white shirt, has his back turned and doesn't notice anything until it's too late to react. A rope of liquid steel stops short at his feet and piles all around him. He escapes only to have the machinery behind him burst apart and send more rivets of steel his way. The equipment is shut off and more of the substance falls to the exact spot where he was just standing. Take if you ever find yourself in Moonville Tunnel in Ohio, you might want to tunnel your way out of there. This haunted railroad tunnel is home to legendary local ghosts. While visiting, this boy caught one on camera. After finding a pentagram drawn into the dirt, you can sort of see a pentagram there. He waited in the darkness. I'm hearing gunshots. While the noises could be explained by the wind and the wilderness, what do you make of this? Watch the white space at the end of the tunnel closely. Did you hear that? Do you see that? Here it is again, slower this time. The apparition looks like it's moving. It then disappears into the light. Another shot of the tunnel a moment later shows no figure around. But in my opinion, it could be the shadows of the trees or the brush to the right captured as the camera's lights adjusts. Watch as he zooms in again here. Here's somebody with their dog. It is strange though that the capture appears to be standing upright, and if it is just a shift while the camera's lights adjusts, why did it only capture this one distinct shape? Tell me what you think in the comments. This one has left me with more questions than answers. What would you do if you discovered this demonic face peering into your baby's crib? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Shadow Panda. The Redditor writes that she was checking her 10 month old son on the baby monitor when she saw something unexpected. She notes that the footage you're about to see is not edited. The baby monitor shows what looks to be a horrifying face mid screen between two bars of the crib. Shadow Panda explains further in the comments section. It's outside of his crib, but when I went in there, there was nothing there. My husband even moved the tummy time mat, and the face or whatever was still there. 
After removing her son from the crib, she checked the monitor and the face was still visible. She shares a picture of it in the comments section, but after completing a thorough examination of the room and the crib, although she found nothing, the image vanished from the monitor. While several redditors have theories, spanning from a bunched up blanket to the Goblin King, the redditor admits she's completely baffled. One thing most can agree on, this monster looks bonkers. A group of friends are recording themselves lifting weights and basically just joking around in a small gym. The situation suddenly becomes very serious when one of them leaves the room and then comes rushing back to bang on the glass for help. Three, you say I'm gonna pick you up. Four. No, wait. What? What is he? Where is he? A tentacle like appendage seems to wrap around their friend's waist and pulls him away. The group goes outside and searches for their friend Nathan, but he has vanished. Then another friend goes missing too. There. Mm. Nathan, come on. I could hey. count as one. Nathan! Ah! Hey, hey. You're well. Open the door. That's when the back. The two survivors run back into the building to talk about what just happened. One of them is in complete denial and thinks that they are simply being pranked. They are talking about whether this is really happening or not, when suddenly their worst fears are confirmed. <laughs> You're not laughing at this? This is crazy! This is hilarious! That's nasty. Man, that's nasty. <laughs> well, there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI. The uploader has not come out and said that this was a short film, and said they insist it's real. Most of the people in the comments section agree that this is authentic, but I'd definitely like to hear what you think. A team of ghost hunters are using a modified Kinect camera to capture paranormal presence in the historic Houghton Mansion in North Adams, Massachusetts. It was once owned by a wealthy businessman, but has since been converted to a Masonic temple and is believed to be haunted by otherworldly spirits. The person in green is one of the hunters, but listen to what they hear. What was that? Yeah, what was that? that? Was weird. I was walking. No, 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 it was a voice. voice. Yeah. The voice. Yes, that was a girl's voice. It was yeah. a girl's voice. Absolutely, Absolutely. a girl's voice. Oh, I didn't even hear. You can really hear the voice when you put headphones on. Anyway, I think this video is real because in fake videos, they tend to talk one at a time and not all at once. But in this video, everybody convincingly talks over each other and reacts with genuine surprise. I'd like to hear what you think though. Unknown creatures can be startling, but none more so than this one. This clip submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by KidRob97, wondering what in the heck this creature is. <laughs> Suggestions in the comments range from a bat to a giant flying squirrel to a Kalago, which is a flying lemur. Knowing what it actually is wouldn't make this footage any easier to watch. The creature is making one of the most agonizing sounds the human ear has ever heard while it bounds across the ground, hopping and unable to fly. The people have somehow caught the animal, which is tethered to a stick. If you've never seen this type of creature up close, this isn't the way you'd want to encounter it. People in the comments wonder if the animal somehow got stuck on this branch. However, the poor creature ended up in this position. I think we can all agree with Lisa's Matrix that this is just heartbreaking. A TikToker named Brandy Sawyer is exploring an abandoned house with some friends and thinks she sees a ghost before they even get inside. It's standing in the center top right window, the vague outline of a person pressed against the glass. If you don't see anything, let me circle the head. Do you see it now? What's weird is that the windows above and below are clean, and even the top part of this window is clean too, and yet this one section is hard to see through and contains a round floating object, possibly a face, that seems to follow their moves. A dinner date goes wrong and leads to a public freakout at the movie somewhere in Mexico. The girl with curly hair stands over her boyfriend as they continue to argue and he gets up in return. She throws her popcorn down and looks ready to leave and she kind of does in a way, but not at all how you would expect her to. Translate what is being said here if you can. Shh. 
I still hear her speaking directly in front of him, and then she is gone. Her form is replaced by a strange man with dark hair who looks around and takes off. Strangely enough, he appears to be wearing the same clothes as her, a white shirt and tan jacket. Meanwhile, she is nowhere to be found. The camera angle misses what happens off screen, but people are saying this could be a shapeshifter in action. The boyfriend apparently passes out from the surprise of seeing this metamorphosis, and everyone runs out of the theater in unison. The amateur video left behind real enough, but the whole situation seems entirely impossible. So what do you think? This ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it. No one's around it. And it's actually walking down the driveway. That's the reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder on its own. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps, but nobody is near. If you have any possible explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, then this is one of the most perplexing videos I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. Picture this, it's early morning when you hear this outside your window. Published by Golf Wagon in April of 2020, what would you think if this was your morning greeting? The repeated noise coming from a distance sounds like a mysterious metallic roar. It continues for nearly the entire length of the two minute video. The sounds don't seem to be happening at the same interval, so that makes some in the comments think its source is not, in fact, mechanical. Many commenters from all over the world, from Serbia to Indonesia to South Korea, claim to have heard similar sounds. Some believe it's atmospheric, others think it's sonar, and still others say it sounds like a living thing. Do you think it's a sign of the end of times? If so, you'd better hope you're prepared. A YouTube channel called Urban Secrets is checking out an abandoned building that used to treat people with eye problems long ago. Now the building itself is an eyesore that should have been condemned long ago. Among the cracked walls and broken windows, they find this makeshift bed with a lump on the mattress. Here it is from a different angle. It does look like somebody laying on their side with the covers pulled over past their head, and I think this is their shoes down by their feet. The middle is not moving though, so if it is a person, then they are no longer breathing. The group backs away, but they have to take one last look. This definitely looks like it could be the outline of somebody, but since nobody in their right mind sleeps like that, I doubt that they are still living. Do you hear that haunting melody? It may be the vocalizations of an actual ghost. <sighs> posted by Charger3933 to the Ghosts subreddit. This clip captures a ghostly song in the abandoned asylum, Eloise Psychiatric Hospital in Michigan, which we've discussed at length in previous Top 15s. Charger notes in the comments that he did not hear the singing during the visit, only afterwards when he listened back to the recording. The Redditor was wandering around the abandoned asylum with a friend when he heard disembodied footsteps coming up the stairs. As he tried to capture the footsteps via a Snapchat video, he heard screaming from a distance. He saved the video and later heard the haunting singing as well. Redditor Wubbelubbadubbadidu in the comments writes, Obviously, we have to take the audio with a grain of salt because it's possible someone was hidden in the building. That being said, I hear the screams and sleep freaky AF. The same Redditor later notes in the thread that the uploader basically caught an EVP. He also remarks that he too hears the footsteps or something moving nearby. The uploader states that he tried to stay as still as possible and that he would also consider this an EVP as he did not hear the singing in real time. Redditor quite fast agrees that the singing sounds like a lullaby. The Redditor tried to isolate the woman's voice and added a clearer clip to the thread. <laughs> The 
The humming voice sounds even spookier with the audio cleared up and it's quite fast notes. You can almost hear the words safe and sound. Do you feel safe and sound after watching this video? Is there a giant panda lurking nearby? Posted to the ghost subreddit, Flower Sliders writes, Took a walk on an abandoned road in rural Japan. Saw this. Not sure what to make of it. Local friends said he'd never seen anything like it before. The video shows a thick stalk of bamboo shaking dramatically, amongst other bamboo stalks. Okay, that's weird, right? Why is it moving? Yeah. Can we even go? Why is it doing that? you guys not see that down there? What? Right Shut there. Up. I'm not gonna have a look. There's nothing. <sighs> okay, why is it still moving? Can we go? The rest of the stalks are still. So what is causing this one to shake? Some in the comments think it's the Kadama, spirits in Japanese folklore that inhabit trees. Others think it could be an animal feasting on its roots or burrowing beneath the stalk. Spirits or not, it sure looks creepy. And to think before watching this video, a walk in rural Japan seems so peaceful to me. Can we go? <laughs> I'm legitimately out <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I'm gonna look this up. Oh, oh, maybe there's something. Wait. Yeah, Still, no, it's not. It's, it's cut there, so there shouldn't be. A large, lonesome mansion seems like the perfect place for a channel called Abandoned World Explorer to do its thing, but they seem to miss the questionable red stain seen here at the 8 minute and 11 second mark as they tentatively test the floor to make sure they don't fall through. Most of the house looks run down, but they come across a creepy entrance that you will have to crouch down to get into. The passageway goes on for three full minutes until they find an even more foreboding staircase descending deeper. It looks like the steps could break away or something could reach out from below. The very bottom floor feels extremely off and wrong. He's poking around when something grabs his attention from behind. Hello? This odd area of the house personally gives me the feeling that someone was kept here away from the rest of the family, though I don't know why. He understandably leaves before he gets a chance to investigate what was possibly down there with him. A YouTuber named Nightshade stands at the top of his steps after hearing noises coming from deep within his basement. Every time he says something, orbs seem to follow. Hello? He tries to keep his calm as he makes a request of the ghost to confirm it's real, and they're with him. Watch as the orbs seem to go up the steps when asked. If you could come up the stairs for me if you haven't already done so, please do it now. If it was Mr. Gruders, you could go down the stairs, but Mrs. Gruders, you would not go down the stairs. And when he goes down the steps, one of his dogs seems hesitant to follow. They too seem to notice the abundant number of white circular orbs that now dance all around. Most people have home surveillance cameras installed for a security measure, just in case somebody attempts to break into their house late at night or an unwanted visitor shows up. But Helen Brookshaw's home surveillance camera captured something much more terrifying than a burglar. It captured an unwanted visitor, but not the kind you'd think or hope for. Focus your attention on the upper left side here. So let's count. One, two, three ghostly figures here. Not just one, not just two, but three in total. And they just seem to be moving in unison, sort of just back and forth in this circle here. And to add to this, it also looks like this happens at a graveyard because these appear to be tombstones. The people who own this surveillance system must live beside a graveyard and that makes sense because the title of this video is ghost on my CCTV in graveyard next door so the fact that not only did they capture three paranormal presences on camera but the fact that this also happens at a graveyard I think just adds to how bizarre and creepy of a situation this is I can't even begin to imagine how creepy it would be to have your home so close to a nearby cemetery or graveyard but that seems to be the case for Helen. What gives this video even more credibility is exactly that. The footage is filmed in a graveyard, 
which is obviously going to be populated with ghosts and paranormal entities. And in this particular video, it seems like there are at least three or maybe four of them moving around in a strange, almost glitchy manner. Who knows? Maybe these are the spirits of passed away people going to pay their other family members a visit. If you fear snakes, you might want to hide under the covers for this one. YouTuber Falcon X-Ray published this footage in November of 2015 with the description, Just started cleaning the pool for summer, came home and found a snake having a swim cooling down from the heat. The snake looks to be about 4 feet long and is quite thick. The snake is shown circling the pool's edge, probably trying to find its way out. Once or twice it does creep its head up the wall of the pool, but it doesn't make it very far. While the snake's slithering movements in the water are creepy enough, one wonders if this breed is poisonous. What kind of snake is it? Whatever the monster is. The uploader said that he built a cage and kept it. Don't know if I'd want to keep that thing in my home, but I'm sure he's happy with his new pet. This footage comes from the Lincoln County Courthouse in Charlotte, North Carolina. Deputies are watching the security monitors after hours when they spot a woman standing alone in an empty room. They rush into the nearby location to see what she is up to and if she needs help. Not only is the woman still there, but she is totally transparent and they are able to walk straight through her. When the local news channel comes to investigate, they see the same ghost again, this time in the cashier's office. Plane. While shooting today, we saw it again in color in the middle of the screen just over Barbara Jones' shoulder. Both times, the ghostly woman appears to be jotting something down in a notepad. Some people are suggesting that she could just be a reflection, but the news team could find nothing capable of replicating the highly detailed shape of a woman. If this really is a spirit, then who knows why she is here, or what supernatural secrets her notepad holds. A family is sharing a meal when someone uninvited shows up for dinner. Originally posted on TikTok by an unknown user, this video was shared by YouTuber Arte Morbid. Take note of the bowl on the corner of the table. When the family realizes it's moving, they all watch. But it doesn't move again. Many believe it's just a wet plate on a slick surface. It does appear to move in one direction, so I'd consider that theory. Or maybe dearly departed Uncle Ned has joined the group for dinner. What do you think is going on here? It's 4 in the morning when Casey Jones awakens to a creepy scratching noise coming from above. It's loud enough to be a rodent, but as she's about to reveal, it's something unexplainably worse. No, it's not a mouse. It's this. What the f is that thing? Does anybody know? Oh it looks like an exceptionally large grasshopper that's roughly as thick as her thumb. I know this insect must have a real name, but giant mutant bug is all that comes to mind. Feel free to clue me in on its actual identity. What if you heard this sound outside your home? Posted to TikTok by Pablo Riviero702. This scream sounds like chills made audible. Happening outside the door of what appears to be a trailer, the scream is followed by dramatic banging on the door. De soberbio. Está sucediendo en este momento. Así que. Así que no sé qué. Whatever's outside starts shaking the trailer. It sounds like it's banging on every window, but you cannot see what's outside in the darkness. In a second video, you can hear even more terrifying sounds right outside. It honestly sounds like a demon.
It continues to bang on the trailer. Would you answer the door? Come on, fellow adult, you can handle it. Corey and Devin are two YouTubers who have a shared channel where they go on all kinds of adventures as well as family vlogs. They haven't updated in over two years, but the videos are still there for all to see, and some of them are, believe it or not, are convincingly paranormal. The videos I'm talking about center around Nona's Pizzeria in Magna, Utah, a family business with a terrible secret, a long-standing curse first brought upon them generations ago by a vindictive small-town witch. The curse is said to have opened a portal to channel forth numerous spirits including the incorrigible witch herself, who remains as mean and evil as ever in the afterlife. Corey and Devin are not a professional ghost hunting channel by any means, and they have little experience dealing with the paranormal aside from television. But when they get a chance to visit one of the locations, they recognize from a show called Ghost Adventures, they are eager to go, and so on October 21st, 2017, they find themselves face to face with the owners and most recent inheritors of the curse. A dark entity haunts this place, old as the building itself. Sometimes it appears to their son as a little girl who wants to play. Sometimes it grabs them by the throat. The owners say that if they try to sell the business, the spirit has confirmed that it will burn it to the ground. They are to live and suffer the curse for all generations to come, or else pay the price through financial ruin. They suspect it's coming from the attic, so the first step is to set up a grid of lasers to see if anything blocks the light. Sure enough, they record this black floating blob on night vision. The rest of the wooden beam is a much lighter color except for the head of the shadow figure. They go into the attic space with cameras and try to catch something up close. It's almost too dark to see anything but... I have some very creepy vibes. I can see the green lights. The camera cannot seem to keep focus, almost as if somebody is standing directly in front of Corey, though nobody is there. They're kind of going in and out. As soon as they start talking about how the demonic force always seems to congregate in this particular spot, they hear a confirmation. I'll play it with the sound up. Do you hear it? In this area here. It was a scream in my opinion, and the K2 meter goes all the way up at the mere mention of its presence. Eventually, they track the exact spot where they think it's standing, and they suspect it needs more electricity in the air to better communicate. They say they are going to give it more energy, and at this point, it seems to fully understand. You're more than welcome to take from this energy, okay? And true to their theory, when they charge the air with a taser and call it by the old family name of Cooper, they find the ghost is finally able to push the meter into the red, not once but twice. Come on, Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. Cooper family. Yes, is that who it is? Are we right? Are we right? all within 11 seconds, so I think something is standing with them and it's not real, but soon a different force sweeps across the room, possibly the witch. They use a simple yes or no communication method to determine that whoever they are talking to wishes to do them harm. Are you trying to use, are you trying to use my weakness against me? By now, the Coopers seem to have fully retreated, and the attic feels much different now, like an intruder is here. And when they break out the heavy equipment for an EVP session to determine if they are correct about this change, this single word is broadcast very clear. Evil. 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 Do you think this says evil like they claim? Because I hear it, and when they try to tell it to clarify, it has three words that I also hear quite well. Tell me if you can hear it too, or if you think something else is being said. Try to focus a little stronger and make it come out a little clearer, please. On your name. I think it's pretty clear that the curse is legit, and maybe they should make the spirit stay true to its word and leave this place for good. These strange sounds in the sky have never been properly explained. I've found no less than five different incidents of the exact same grinding and humming metal on metal noise. Sometimes it comes from far away, like this one from Germany. 
and sometimes it echoes throughout the whole city, like this one from France. And sometimes it sounds like it's breaking directly overhead, like this one from Edmonton, Canada. But out of all of them, this recording from an unknown Spanish-speaking country is the clearest. These people are from around the world and obviously can't all know each other. Yet each video is recorded between 2015 and 2016. I don't know if this is a warning, an experiment, or what, but I'm worried that one day we will find out. Breaking into a vehicle under the cover of darkness is common. Doing it directly in front of the car's owner? Not so much. Published by Doorbell News in October of 2021, this crazy thief must have been seriously desperate. A woman is sitting outside her home in Phoenix, Arizona, talking on her phone as a toddler toddles around, doing baby things. While chatting, she looks up from her phone to find a man breaking into her friend Bubba's vehicle right in front of the house. The entire creepy event was captured on a ring doorbell camera. You can vaguely see the man's white shirt as he approaches and then breaks into the vehicle. He didn't technically have to break anything as the car was open. The woman alerts her friend inside who rushes out to see what's going on. The guard dog sets off a 12 bark alarm. Thankfully, the man wasn't able to take off in the vehicle before the police were called. In the description, the woman notes that he was taken into police custody. Definitely one for the books in my opinion. You don't see this every day. There's something in this house, and they might be demons. The first one he captures on camera is pretty obvious, but he doesn't seem to see it. The second one is playing peekaboo. Bismillah. 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 Hey! And the last one. Do you hear that roar? Well, I'm wondering what these creatures are. Most in the comments are chuffed at this dude's terrified scream. My vote is for demons, but it could be some other type of evil entity. Any ideas? Visit Louisiana and you might just run into a gator or two, or maybe a thousand. Published in January of 2011, Marvin Carter writes, This is something you just don't see every day. Carter says this video was sent to him from the mouth of the Mississippi by one of his friends. What you're about to see will make your skin crawl. At first, the river looks normal with dozens of rocks jutting out of it, but when the camera zooms in, you realize those aren't rocks. Then even more horrifyingly, this little speedboat starts its journey through the sea of alligators. They're all moving about, but the good news is, it looks like they're just trying to get out of the way, not start trouble. While many in the comments agree that this is terrifying, most also suggest that gators generally don't mess with you. Still, this scary video desperately needs an explanation, and commenter canoeing the edge of the world seems to have one. He writes, For some reason, alligators just decide every once in a while to have a little get-together and they bring the whole family. I think I'll skip this reunion. A Russian YouTuber known as Tret 
shared a video online of him wandering around through a local forest equipped with a video camera. Because the video is in Russian, I'm not entirely sure what he is saying during the video, but I'm going to assume he is saying he is filming in the forest to see if he can capture anything of interest on camera. And if that is what he's saying, then he got exactly what he wished for. Wow. What the heck is that? It looks like a human face, but its eyes are glowing. And you can kind of see, it, it almost looks like a, a skull with glowing eyes. And what the heck it's doing down here is a question I do not have the answer to. It looks like it, it's at the bottom of a well and notices that it's being filmed and just sort of looks straight up into the camera. That is just terrifying. And in classic fashion, the cameraman runs away immediately after seeing this, which is totally understandable given the circumstances. Instead of looking like some sort of paranormal entity, I personally think that this looks like some sort of skeleton because of the shape of its head, and I can almost make out some bones. Interestingly though, this skeleton-like creature seems to have dark glowing purple eyes, which would be strange considering how skeletons are not alive. So what exactly is this creature that Tret saw? As for now, it remains a mystery. A father and his two children explore this abandoned house as a strange way to bond together, but I think it might have ended up ripping them apart. They cross into the dark kitchen and immediately hear a wild growl, followed by low whispers and a pair of glowing eyes. They are hurrying out of the house as fast as they can, but debris is everywhere, and they have to move slow. Just when they are about to leave, they find the way blocked by their absolute worst fears. The thin ghoul is barely reminiscent of a human, its features wide and dark and taking up large portions of its face, its eyes and nose are missing, its mouth nothing more than a wide cavern, extending from cheek to cheek. Have you ever felt like someone was watching you while you slept? The truth is, they might be. A couple in Bucktown, Chicago discovered an intruder had crept into their home to take their valuables and to watch them creepily as they snoozed on the sofa. He was captured on a security camera gazing at the couple, Jordan and Jack, from the upstairs balcony while they slept below on their couch during a Netflix binge. It was only when Jack said to his girlfriend, why are you at the top of the stairs wearing a white hoodie before we went to bed? And she answered, I wasn't at the top of the stairs, that the pair started to freak out. The intruder stood over them, watching for nearly five minutes the first go around. Then he went back to snooping through the couple's things, only to return and gaze at them for another five minutes. The intruder is believed to have burglarized other neighborhood homes. He managed to get into the house through their bedroom balcony door, which they left open. In fact, he was so light on his feet that the couple's dogs didn't even budge. They slept the whole while at their owner's feet. What valuables did he take? As it turns out, only Jordan's purse. In fact, this was the reason the couple watched the surveillance video in the first place. They'd gotten into an argument about where Jordan had left the purse. Jack suggested she'd forgotten it at the restaurant they'd gone to the previous night. Jordan insisted she'd brought it home. Moral of the story, binge watching Netflix is more unsafe than you'd think. Perhaps the film night at the museum wasn't too far off. This statue, located in England's Manchester Museum, appears to come to life. The ancient Egyptian statue dates back to around 1800 BC and perhaps is cursed by an ancient Egyptian spell. According to the museum's curator, Campbell Price, one day he noticed the 10-inch statue had turned entirely around. As reported by Manchester Evening News, Price said, I thought it was strange because 
it is in a case and I'm the only one who has a key. When Price moved it back to its original position, he found it had moved again the very next day. He decided the next step was to set up a time lapse video, but the video raised more questions than it answered as the statue was caught red handed rotating counterclockwise on its own by increments that wouldn't appear visible to the human eye. This occurs only during the daytime, the statue is still at night. While an Egyptian spell isn't off the table, one British physicist thinks the movement can be explained by something called differential friction. Brian Cox says this friction is caused by the footsteps of museum goers whose vibration moves the statue during the day. Price, however, calls this into question as the statue has been housed at the museum since the early 20th century and it hasn't moved before. It also appears to be turning in a perfect circle and only up to 180 degrees so that it's facing backward. Even more interesting, on the rear of the statue is an inscription requesting offerings of bread, oxen, and fowl. Perhaps this is the answer. The statue needs to be fed. YouTuber Renoa Super Genius has something random to share. A random secret door hidden in a closet. She says that this door leads to the crawl space under the house and nice cool air always flows from the crack in the door. Since it's getting a bit hot in the house and with no airflow, the YouTuber decides to open the crawl space door not only to cool the room but to inspect or mine as she puts it the underground. After prying the crawl space up with a screwdriver, the YouTuber spans the area with a camera and viewers see a whole lot of dirt, wires and the structural foundation of the home. Not an unusual discovery below deck. When she descends down under, the YouTuber finds cables that don't connect to anything. As the exploration underground continues, she finds an old penny from 1951. One YouTuber in the comments, Kiji Hu, notes, Don't they put pennies in places like this to ward off evil spirits? In fact, it's true that some superstitious beliefs suggest that copper protects homes from evil spirits in the evil eye. Copper is also believed by some to draw good fortune, which is one possible reason why this YouTuber found a penny beneath the home. While crawl spaces beneath homes are not uncommon, most don't go exploring them, so you can imagine what secrets might be hidden under so many homes across the world. A YouTuber named Adam Edwards is making a Disneyland vlog when suddenly something sinister decides to make an unwanted guest appearance behind him. Hey guys, so today we're in Disneyland and um, I'm gonna look out the new ride. Two hands reach out for him from behind a red curtain with long gnarled fingers. Adam quickly turns the corner and finds nothing where the hands just were. He goes back around the corner and as soon as he starts talking, the hands return, yet when he checks again, nothing's there. I did notice that he never checks around the floor, so this could be a pre-planned prank. If that's the case, I'm guessing his friend was on the other side and they ducked down as soon as Adam went around the corner. Still, let me know if you recognize this part of Disneyland and if you've ever experienced anything similarly strange there. Is the haunted Papworth Hospital worth exploring? YouTube Team Ghost Theory tests their fates to answer that question in this scary video. As they enter the building, they hear a whistle. Continuing their tour of the hospital, the spirits there respond to their questions. Can you see us? That was a yes, wasn't it? What the actual... They get an affirmative answer again. Are there more than one... Is there more than one spirit here? That's a 
that's a yes. As they stay quiet for a minute, they hear multiple noises in the stillness. That's weird. And also, I'm confused because why in like a reception area? Yeah, well, I guess they could be anywhere. Yeah, they're wandering around. Is that true? Are you just, do you just walk around here? Further along, they capture a door moving. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, no, I Whoa. just heard that. I just started recording. That door's just moved. They then hear a loud thump from another room. And then another strange noise is heard. As they head outside, there's faint crying in the night. Is that like a baby? It's a baby crying, that is you. No. I think it could be just one of the houses. There aren't any. There are just there, in front of us. The lights on. Is that a baby crying? Before they can find out, they face off with some of the scariest beings that ghost hunters can ever encounter. Humans. While the team may have been here, it sounds to me like they're not alone. It seems plenty of spirits are afoot at Papworth. This small outpost, known only as the Black Mailbox, is one of the many classic mysteries of Area 51. It is actually two containers stacked on top of each other as shown here. One day while filming the Black Mailbox site at random, a nondescript white car with heavily tinted windows pulls up and unlocks it. They totally ignore the fact that they are being recorded, which is something all personnel from Area 51 seem to be trained to do. Meanwhile, whoever is recording decides not to approach any closer, most likely because they thought it was a government vehicle on official business. The camera person sticks around for about half a minute longer before presumably getting out of there fast. A YouTuber named Nugget Noggin is exploring an old abandoned home one evening somewhere in the deep south. He's been here only once before and it gave him such a strange and foreboding feeling that he couldn't take it anymore and he had to leave. Now he's mustered up enough courage to come back and check out the rest of the house. He wants to get up to the second floor. Alright, so I got this little door here to keep the air from rising up. I reckon, I don't know. Could be somebody up there. Oh man, somebody's standing on it. Cause I sure can't lift it up. Much to his dismay, he finds a door has been laid over the top of the stairway so that nobody can get through. He tries to push on the horizontal door. One moment, it feels as if a heavy force is standing on top of it, and the next moment, the weight is suddenly gone and Nugget Noggin can get upstairs. Some rooms give him the same weird feeling that made him flee before. He remembers that the front door was kicked in. Possibly someone broke in. Maybe a family was living here long ago and things did not end well for them. Won't be able to sleep. Look, there's a light on in there. That's odd. There's a mirror. You know what time it is. Nugget Noggin doesn't find much else and leaves. When he's reviewing the footage, however, he does notice what could be the face of a small girl. Take a look at this picture and tell me if it looks like anything paranormal to you. A YouTuber named Ruin Road wants to explore the old remains of the Hutchins Intermediate School in Detroit, Michigan. So he climbs through one of the blown out windows and rummages all around. He is getting some artistic shots of various angles and landscapes when he notices somebody is posted by a fence a few hundred feet away. Something feels off about the man, but he ignores it and keeps exploring. Some more time passes and Ruin Road eventually forgets all about the strange man, but then a noise in the next room swings him around. Ruin Road senses someone is coming for him and quickly gets out of the building fast. 
Rocky later concludes that the person outside was serving as a lookout and that other people were coming into the building to jump him. I think there is a good possibility that this is true, but then again maybe they were just some fellow urban explorers, or maybe he was being paranoid and there was no one around at all. With that said, I have in good fact heard about people getting robbed in abandoned buildings around Detroit, so I think it's good that he didn't stick around to find out. February 5th, 2002, Robert Picton was taken into custody by a Vancouver police task force who had found personal items on his pig farm from a woman who had disappeared. There were no other clues aside from the missing belongings, such as a prescription inhaler and other items. In other words, enough evidence to hold him but not enough for a solid conviction. Prosecutors needed more evidence, so on February 23, 2002, they sent one of their best undercover officers to pose as an inmate to try to get Robert to confess his actions. Robert hadn't had a friend in a long time and was more than willing to swap stories with what he thought was a fellow like-minded psycho. What he revealed was absolutely horrifying. The undercover officer leads the conversation by saying the ocean is the best way to get rid of the passed away. Roberts is quick to correct him. With CCTV cameras rolling overhead, the undercover officer gets Robert Picton to admit something he had not said to the detective in years. The reason they weren't able to find any of the passed away was because he had put them through meat processing equipment and most likely fed them to his pigs. When the undercover agent tries to get him to say more about what he's done, Robert gives us a glimpse into what a person like him thinks of the people whose lives he's taken. What's most terrifying of all about this is how they were nothing more to him than a number. He sees no individuality, nothing to make them human or set them apart. They are all the same to him, a number that he wants to make even for his own selfish satisfaction. Robert Picton might have gotten away with all 50 acts if not for the self-incriminating testimony which was used against him. On December 11th, 2007, he was sentenced to life behind Behind bars, he decided not to make a statement upon being sentenced. I guess he felt like he had already said enough. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.